somehow, <laughs> some way, we find a way to go lower. You know, we have the Minneapolis Miracle, no call, and what happened last year against the Vikings, but somehow, somehow, this is worse. It wasn't even a walk-off touchdown or a, tu a walk-off field goal. This is worse. This is worse. So what is up, guys? Suit of the Savage back. Saints playoff loss. I absolutely hate filming these. We lose the Bucks 30-20 to in what might have been Drew Brees' final game in the NFL. So there's a lot I got to get into. So as always, got to do a general recap, individual player stats, then finish off with a final grade. So without further ado, let's get this video started. All right, so starting out with a general recap of the game. So the Bucks, uh, they won the toss, and they did, and they actually ended up getting the first ball. On on their very first drive, they go three and out. So I'm pretty happy, thinking, okay, good start. Now let's get to work. Uh, the Saints, um, but of course, once they went three and out, they punt, and Deontay Harris had a 54 yard return. So we get so we're at a first and ten on the Tampa Bay 21. I'm thinking, perfect. Let's go score a touchdown. Let's start this game off right. Uh, we didn't. Had to settle for a 23-yard field goal by Will Lutz. Something, and okay, you know what? It's better than nothing. I'll take it. And then we force another three and out. Um, and then the Saints, uh, we once again had uh, Deontay Harris ran for a 67-yard return touchdown. But unfortunately, uh, Granderson got a uh, call, got flagged for an illegal block of the back. And uh, sadly, uh, he did not get to keep the return touchdown. So the Saints, we go on a long drive down the field, uh, and then eventually we have to settle for a 42-yard field goal by Will Lutz. So, you know, up 6 nothing. like, I said I was okay with it, but at the same time, I wanted more because this is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, once Tom Brady clicks, he clicks. You can't stop him. So I needed, I wanted the Saints to build up as big of a lead as possible. And, uh, you know, 6 nothing isn't exactly the lead that I was hoping for, but... You know, I'd still take it. So the Bucks, we almost forced another three and out. They got to a fourth and one at their own 34, but Tom Brady ran for a QB sneak, uh, gained the first down. Uh, then the Bucks went on a long drive down the field uh, and then settled for the 26-yard field goal. So we're up six to three. Uh, then Drew Brees on the very next drive, get to a second and nine at the New Orleans 37. And Brees looked for Michael Thomas and the pass got intercepted by Murphy, by Murphy Bunting. Uh, this one was not a good pick. Like, it was not, it was Drew Brees' fault. He got a bad read on him, under through Thomas. Uh, and Bunting, he ran back for 36 yards. And uh, eventually, first and goal in the New Orleans three, and Brady connects with Evans for the touchdown. So, you know, Evans' uh, woeful streak against Marshawn Lattimore was finally snapped. So, you know, it sucked, but it is what it is. Uh, Saints... We go down, we drive, uh, we get to a first and 10 on our own 44, and then we pull out a bit of a trick play. So, Jameis Winston's lined up as a receiver. Drew Brees is on the sideline. Um, Kamara is um, the is at the quarterback position, and Sanders, he's on the left. So, they snap it. Kamara takes the ball. Sanders is running around. They pitch it to Sanders, who pitches it back to Winston. And you see, there's Traquan Smith. He's kind of like in the middle of it all. You know, he's... Stuck between a bunch of linebackers, but eventually he gets free. He's open. Winston throws it deep downfield, and he connects them for the 56-yard touchdown. We almost got flagged for uh, an, an for an ineligible uh, guard, but Nick Easton, fortunately, he was eligible, and so they called it the touchdown. So I was super pumped up knowing that we got a big, big score. Uh, we forced another three and out, so I am super hyped up, uh, but then we unfortunately could not... Do much damage. We were forced to punt, and then the Bucks. They went on a long drive to end the quarter, and it ends with a 37-yard field goal from Ryan Suckup. So, yeah. So then the Saints on our very next drive. So we get the ball to start the second half. We go on a quick drive down the field. We get to a second and ten at the Tampa Bay 16, and Drew Brees connects with Traquan Smith for the 16-yard touchdown. So I'm once again super hyped up, thinking, all right, this is it. This is where we can just put the dagger in the Bucks. Because we force another quick drive on them. They are forced to punt. Uh, eventually, we uh, we go on a drive on our own. We get to a third and two, and Drew Brees finds Jared Cook on the slant. Jared Cook is running, and then Devin White forces the fumble, picks up the ball, goes on a long run back. Uh, then eventually, uh, the Bucks, you know, they had a short field to work with, and um, Tom Brady connects with Leonard Fournette for the six-yard touchdown. So, yeah. So, all of a sudden, we're tied. Um, we're f and then we punt, and this is where the game basically went downhill. So, uh, we fo so we punted. Uh, the Bucks they go on a long drive downfield, and then they cap it off with a 36-yard field goal from Ryan Suckup. 
Uh, then Drew Brees on the very next drive. Uh, we are trying to drive down the field, you know, get a score. Uh, Brees throws a pass that he's looking for Kamara, and it gets intercepted by Devin White. This one was another bad read on Drew Brees. Uh, once again, the Bucks had a very short field to work with, and then they get a one-yard rushing touchdown. Brady just runs in. Uh, they kick the extra point. Now they're up 30-20. to 20. Uh, You know, Brees, he's just trying to make a Saint. He's trying to get the Saints to come back. Uh, he's looking for Jared Cook, and it goes right off him and into the hands of Edwards for another pick. So the third pick, that was the dagger. The Bucks would basically go on to run out the clock, and the game was over. So, yeah. So I'll be honest, it was a good start. You know, Breeze, you know, after his first pick, you know, he was a little shaken up, but, you know, he recovered. You know, he did well, but then the last two drives was just when it all went down for hill for him on to individual players. All right, so on to individual player stats, starting off with the man himself, Drew Brees. He threw for 134 yards, one touchdown, and three picks. This was not a good game. Straight up, I can't say, I. it's hard to defend that. Like, the game, I'll be honest, he was okay until the final two drives. Like, uh, outside of the final two drives, he was decent, but, you know, our flaws were exposed, you know, our over-reliance on Alvin Kamara backfired, you know. He, like, Kamara was decent this game, but definitely was not amazing. Like, it, he wasn't, like, how he was against the Vikings, but, like, you know, the only other QB that we had was Jameis Winston. He had one passing complete, he had one passing attempt, and it was a 56-yarder to Traquan Smith. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we didn't have Latavius Murray, and we didn't have Taysom Hill. Now, those were definitely some factors that led to the loss. You know, Taysom Hill being there for that trick play and Latavius Murray to be the big number two back. So, yeah, the rushing game, we couldn't really get that much going because, you know, Latavius Murray was such a great number two back. And Ty Montgomery and Dwayne Washington, you know, they're they're not exactly the best to have as your number two guy. Uh, anyways, on to Alvin Kamara. He ran for 85 yards, no touchdowns. He followed up with three receptions for 20 yards. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing really. Like, he was good, but, you know, I was hoping we could get more. And, uh, you know, he did what he had to do, and sadly it just wasn't enough. Uh, then we had Traquan Smith. He was the only good receiver in that game. Three receptions for 85 yards and two touchdowns. Emmanuel Sanders, he did a decent job. Had six receptions for 48 yards. Jared Cook had 28 yards in that one costly fumble. Dear God, I am so pissed about that. And then the final receiver was Ty Montgomery. One reception for 13 yards. So you're thinking to yourself, where the hell is Michael Thomas? Well, for God's sakes, you say you can't guard Mike. You can't guard this man. Dude had no receptions, had four targets, was absolutely terrible. I was so pissed that he got absolutely nothing going. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the receiving. So, you know, the defense, it's hard for me to kind of bash the defense because, you know, we did what we could for most of the game. And 21 of those points came off the Buccaneers having an extremely short field to work with. And when they didn't have an extremely short field to work with, we made them settle for field goals. So honestly, the defense was decent. Despite giving up 30 points, you know, we we could just pin so much hate on the defense, but they don't really deserve it. Saints offense, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. You know, we had a couple, we had a nice little razzle-dazzle play uh, and one good drive to start the second half. Uh, you know, we had some drives where we just couldn't cap it off. So I got to give us a 6 out of 10 and the four turnovers. That's not going to help, you know. You're not going to win a football game when you turn the ball over four times. I mean, unless you're forcing a ton of turnovers, you're not going to win when you're turning it over that many times. And the defense, I'm going to give them a 7.5 out of 10, you know. Could have been a little bit more clutch, but, you know, it is what it is. They did what they needed to do. Sadly, they didn't get a single turnover, but it just is what it is. And Tom Brady, he wasn't exactly amazing himself. Barely completed over 50% of his passes, had 199 yards, two touchdowns, no picks, but, you know, he's better than Brees. You know, it's not really saying much because Brees just didn't have it at the end. Uh, Leonard Fournette and Ronald Jones, you know, this time they combined for 127 rushing yards. So, you know, the Bucks in the past couple of games against the Saints, the rush game was absolutely inexistent. That was another big factor why they beat us. The biggest factors were, of course, uh, you know, Saints turnovers, uh, the Buccaneers doing a much better job of the rushing game, and the Buccaneers actually capitalizing off short field. And, you know, that's something that the Saints didn't do. Like, the Bucs did it way better than we did, so, you know, not much else to say. Uh, Brady was the only one who actually had the rushing touchdown, as he had two yards and a touchdown. 
Uh, lead receiver was Cameron Bray was Cameron Bray with 50 yards, followed by Leonard Fournette with 44 yards and a touchdown. Godwin had 34, followed by Scotty Miller with 29. Tyler Johnson he had one clutch reception. It was an amazing one-handed catch, followed by Gronk with 14, Antonio Brown with 10, and Mike Evans. He did get one catch in that game, but that was the three-yard touchdown that was part of the downfall. And the defense, man, I got to give you credit. You know, you limited the Saints to 104 rushing yards. You know, we only had Kamara, but you kept our, you kind of, you neutralized the running game. So I got to give a lot of credit to that. You know, you picked off Breeze three times, forced the fumble. So, you know, your defense really stepped up. It did an amazing job. So I got to give you credit where credit's due. But this hurts way more than the last three because this was most likely Drew Brees' final game. You know, I did see that he is still going to ponder retirement, but at this point, I think he should retire. Like, he's not who he once was, and it's so sad to see it, but I, at this point, I think it's time for him to retire. I absolutely love the man, but another reason I would want to see him retire is because we need to save some cap space, because we are in absolute cap hell. About $100 million in the red, heads are going to roll. If Drew Brees retires, you know, that's going to save us some cap, but we, all, we also got to get rid of guys like Quan Alexander, Janoris Jenkins, those guys are decent players, but they just take up so much cap space. You know, got to do a lot in negotiations. There's a lot of heads that are going to roll this offseason, and that's honestly what hurts the most. And, of course, Breeze retiring, that hurts like crazy. Uh, got to give the Buccaneers a grade. So the offense, I'm going to give them a 7.5 out of 10. You know, mix, when you mix them with the three and outs, you know, that kind of overshadows the offense today a little bit, but, like, not by much because the offense was pretty good. Uh, pick was able to score when they had short field to work with, so I got to give them credit. 7.5 out of 10 on the offense, and I'm going to give them an 8.5 on the defense. You know, even though they allowed the Saints uh, to score 20 points, they really clutched up. Four turnovers, you know, that's that's really going to help you win a game. So props to the Buccaneers. I still hate you, but yeah, you know, at the end of the game, there was a nice heartfelt moment between Brady and Breeze. They... And Breeze, once he left the field, he was pointing at the fans, you know, giving them the love, looked out in the Superdome for the last time possibly. And he did actually come out with Tom Brady for a nice little post game with their family. So once again, it was just it was just a nice moment to see, but it's so sad that this is the end of the road. On to the outro. That is going to wrap up my video for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and thank you to everyone who has stuck around with me for this whole ride. This has been crazy. You know, we have been through so much been through 17 weeks of predictions, done a whole lot of Saints recaps, bracket got busted, sadly, and um, of course, got the postseason prediction videos done, uh, but I can't thank you enough. It's been an amazing ride. Still got one last prediction video to do, and that is, of course, the prop bet predictions, but that's not going to come out for a while. I'm going to take a break for some time. You know, maybe I might come up with a video or two before it, but, you know, I just need to take a break because I've been, I'm absolutely burned out from making all these videos, but Thanks for all your support, and thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want to see my Saints recaps and my postseason prediction video, which is now dead, link's in the description below. Uh, make sure you drop a like this video, like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below what you thought of this game. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok at Brennan Suter. Thank you all for watching. Houdat Nation, sadly, is out.